Hi, I'm Dr. Gretchen Oliver and I'm here with USPA Polo Development LLC and the Player Performance Analysis. Right now I want to give you just a brief overview of why we have chosen the exercises in your exercise glossary and those exercises that you're choosing to do for your pregame warm-up. The premise behind that is that the exercise that we have chosen we've tested and uh, we have evidence that we're working the muscles that really, fo that really concentrate on pelvic stability and also uh, scapular stability for the shoulder. So it's all about working those postural muscles right here in your lumbopelvic hip complex, as well as all the cues are pull your shoulders back. So working those shoulder blades so that we can keep you in the most efficient position. The stronger you are through here, the easier the energy transfer is going to be so that you can ultimately swing harder. So all the exercises, you'll note that a lot of it's going to focus at your hips. You're going to feel it burning in your hips and also your shoulder blades, back of your shoulder blades because everyone wants to squeeze them together. So when you look at that, if we wake up those muscles, then hopefully they will continue to be activated while you're on the horse and performing. Hi, I'm Dr. Gretchen Oliver, and today I'm here with USPA Polo Development, LLC. And we're going to go over um, a typical pregame warm-up that you could implement as you are trying to work on your uh, player development. So today, our pregame warm-up, what we're going to do is we're choosing about 10 minutes. So if you, have, if you can knock out 10 minutes prior to the game, prior to getting on the horse, all you need is a stopwatch, your iPhone, any type of phone, something that you can just look at the timing because each exercise we basically will give you a time limit to hold that exercise and then we will give you a uh, perform on to the next one. So uh, today we're going to go through some. Feel free to do them at home as we're doing these and I'll hopefully give you some cues while we're going through the exercises on proper posture. So the first exercise uh, we're going to do is we're going to get on the board and we're going to uh, start our timer and basically I want them on the board and I want them in an athletic position. So almost like your polo uh, position on the horse, legs bent. We want to make sure that they're breathing. Again, you want to draw in your uh, stomach to your spine. You want to curl your pelvis and then also pull your shoulders back. Try not to have the forward head posture. This whole time you're breathing, uh, at first it, you're gonna want to fixate probably your vision on something out in front of you if you look down at your feet. And this one I did say 30 seconds, but we're gonna hold it for 40 because I sometimes get confused on the time. So try not to let the board hit. Okay, you can step off. And um, on these, once you get to going, you can step off, back on, or you can just stay on it when you take a break. Okay, we're going to get back on the board and do another athletic hold. And if you look down at your feet, that's typically when you lose your proper posture position. So you want to look out in front of you. And this time while we're on it, we're holding it for about 35 seconds. Put your arms in the position you would have them when you're on the horse. So if you're holding the mallet, if you're holding the reins, what position are you in? Focus on that. Focus on looking um, ahead. So we're looking good here. And every day you get on the board, it'll be a little different depending on how much you air up the bladder underneath. Okay, you can relax. Either you can step off or stay on the board. Uh, the next is uh, a series of squats. Okay, so we're going to get on the board. And uh, again, find that athletic position. And now I want you to do a series of squats. And again, this is for timing, and I'm going to give us a minute on the squats. So start doing your squat, and every one of them try to go down a little further. The deal is you have to do them slow, because I don't want you to hit the ground with the board. So as you're going, you may get down okay, but as you come up, you may have to go a little slower. Good. And y'all count and see how many you can get done in this minute. It's a competition. And you're going to shake a little bit. That's okay. If your ankles, if you get tired, you may have to step off the board, step back on and reposition. You're doing good. Okay, for the last 20 seconds, I want y'all to go down and um, so that you can sit, go down and try to go all the way down. Try to sink your tail down a little further and then come up very slow so that the board does not touch the ground.
All right, good. Now y'all can step off after you complete that squat to take a little break. Okay, um, this next one, what I want you to do is you're going to get on the board and then you're going to go down into your squat. So we're going to go down into our squat and then when you get as low as you can go, I want you to hold it there. So we're going to have a 30 second hold in our deep squat. Good, keep holding. Try to tuck your tailbone. Try to pull back your shoulders. Once you feel like you're getting stable, that's all right. Now you step back on it. Try to hold, hold. Try to put your hands in the position maybe that they would be when you're on the horse. Are y'all breathing? Yeah. Give me five more seconds. Good job. Okay, so, um, Let's say we're done with the balance, but let's do one more thing on the board. Let's do um, a plank. So let's do our push-up plank on the board. And again, remember that we want, uh, we want a straight line, shoulders, hip, ankles, or actually head, shoulders, hip, ankles. So try to draw in your stomach, tighten your glutes, make sure you're breathing. Um, it's you can adjust your feet if you want to. You can have them closer together. You can have them wider apart. You can change your hands on the board to make it harder. And guess what? I always forget to look at the time, so y'all got 10 more seconds. And again, make sure you're breathing. Okay, rest. We're gonna do one more. The one more, um, I want you to try to move your hands a little in on the board. We were holding them out here. This is going to be a more difficult one. Try to have it push up about where the uh, words start. Okay, let's try for 30 seconds. Okay, up. Good. Good position. Make sure you're breathing. You're a third of the way there. Good positioning. Again, uh, you can make it harder or easier by uh, moving your feet out wider or bringing them in closer. All right, good deal. Okay, so uh, now let's step in front of the boards and get our uh, resistance bands. And for the resistance bands, um, let's put them around mid, a little bit above the ankle. Okay, and for this one, uh, this is our hip abduction. So you're going to uh, stand on one leg and uh, try to drive that uh, foot into the ground, become a straight pole. So you're going to be straight here, and then the leg that you're abducting, you're not trying not to hit the ground. So, and let's try not to lean to the side. And so we're going to do these consecutively for about 30 seconds. So try to get up a little, there you go. Up a little straighter, that's it. If you need to bend your stance leg a little bit to be a little more athletic to move out, you can do that. Okay, good, let's switch legs. So now you're gonna have uh, your other leg as your stance leg again, and the uh, foot leg that you're moving, you don't want your foot to hit the ground. And try not to lean over so much. Good, okay, next one. Um, you might need to take a step up from the board and we're gonna do our basic abduction diagonal. So you're going diagonally back and out with these. And uh, these, you're gonna start with full range of motion for, we're gonna do 20 seconds full range of motion and then when I say pump, once you get to that extreme of the band, then you're just gonna to try to push it out as much as you can in a pumping action. With these, try not to lean your body too much forward. Try to be stiff. Remember, draw in your belly button. Tighten that uh, pelvic region. Okay, now let's do pumps. So once you're out there, try to stabilize. Good. 
Really uh, drive your balanced foot into the ground. Try to stay straight up. Good, okay, rest. Burning a little bit. Burning, yeah. Okay, now the other leg. We're gonna do diagonal back, full range of motion until I tell you to pump. Good, and remember your posture. Try to stay strong in your lumbopelvic area. Draw in that belly button. Okay, now let's do pumps. So out at that end range, and this is where you really make sure you're breathing. Get tight through your core. Good job. Okay, uh, let's do our pelvic bridges. So we're gonna get on the ground and bridge up. And you can keep the bands on. Actually, we can um, put the bands on. We can slide them up above the knee. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay back. You're gonna pull your feet in close because I want your feet flat on the ground. So really bend. Okay, and uh, push them together. Okay, now we're gonna bridge up. And this I want a straight line, uh, knees, hips, shoulders. There you go. And this one is, uh, we're just gonna hold this one here for 20 seconds. Uh, since y'all have the resistance bands on, if you were bored with holding it here, you could perform a clam. So you'd keep your uh, feet together and now you would clam out and slowly back. With the clams, you can, uh, once you get out to that resistance point, you could hold it and back. When you do the clam, so I don't want to see you fall off your line. Okay, good job. Drop down. Okay, and then this, the last one is your free for all. Uh, what would you like to do of our exercises? Let's throw in the, uh, let's throw in the bonus one. Okay, so take your band off. The bonus one is you're gonna plank, you're gonna get up into a push-up plank. And once you're in that push-up plank, then guess what we get to do? We're gonna do abductions. You're gonna do 12 on one side and then 12 on the other. And try not to rotate the body. Good. Try to sink down so you're more straight line. There you go. Once you get 12, then you switch legs. Very good. And you're going a little bit up, but that's okay. You can, um, basically you can take, uh, if y'all were really eager, we could take all of our standing abductions and put them into the plank. So good job today. That was our basic 10 minute, basic 10 minute workout. You can uh, look at the exercise glossary and pick out just about whatever exercises you want. I always say to mix in some balance, some with the bands, but all of the exercises are targeting right here through the lumbopelvic region. So if you only have five minutes or if you have 15 minutes, I'm sure you can find some exercises that would be a benefit. Thank you.